Hey guys, today I'm going to have a little bit of fun uh, building a infed half wave, a vertical one, with some uh, speaker wire. This is a pretty inexpensive speaker wire. You can get it at the, in the United States at the Walmart stores for under $17 US. It is uh, 100 foot long. That comes out to 200 feet of wire once you split it up. I'm going to use my uh, 10 tennas, uh, 49 to 1 un -un. I love this thing. It's great. I've had it a year and a half or so. It's been an excellent one. And to put it all up, it's going to go up on the 10 meter, my 10 meter DX commander pole. So I'm going to cut some wires, build an antenna and get online and get on the air, I should say. And we'll see what happens. Stick around. Okay, here's the setup. It's Norfolk over there, Norfolk, Virginia. I'm in Portsmouth, Virginia. This is a marina here on the Portsmouth side. For those of you who know that area, that's a US Naval Hospital. And here we go. I'm going to be using my Zygu G90 along with uh, my uh, six amp hour LiPo 4 battery. And here's the setup. What I did, I used some bungee cords and that's a uh, piece of PVC pipe. I use this at the beach all the time. It's actually two inch uh, OD a PVC at the bottom, I'll reduce her up to three inch and I stick that in the sand when I'm at the beach. But hey, bungee cords are, are amazing. And I've got it here into the fence. So uh, there's the uh, the un, un the 49 to one un, un from Tentanas. I do have a choke on it. And what I'm using, I do is I put a piece of one meter long, that's 5% of a wavelength. So uh, a one meter long wire. So what I've got basically is a little over 10 meter driven element and then uh, down with it choked. So instead of the uh, antenna trying to use the coax as a counter, that 5% of one, one uh, 5% of a wavelength is, uh, is gonna work as the counter. There is gonna be some great debate on this, I'm sure in the comments, but hey, I've done this before. There's a lot of info out there on that. Um, that's the way I do it. So there it is, the uh, the one meter long counterpoise wire. And then it's all going up, way up on my DX Commander 10 meter pole. Pretty cool, I'm gonna tell you what, that's back up here. Pretty impressive looking antenna from afar. Uh, and I don't even think I can get it all in the, uh, in the picture there. There it is. 10 meters in the air and uh it's a uh, pretty amazing that is for 20 a 20 meter 20 meter infed half wave vertical antenna i've built this before but never here never in this location so i'm really looking forward to how things come out let's go in the air and see what happens let's check swr here all right i built this for 240 right he's on it i get it over about 242 and uh cut the tuner off where i had last time let's check swr and just see what it where it's at and there you go absolutely spot on awesome perfect swr for uh the 20 meter band which is what i really designed this for we'll use the atu if we have to for other bands why don't we just check uh let's stop it here let's check uh let's check 15 just to see what it looks like there yeah, see, it's a little high. We'll have to use the ATU at 15. We'll stop that. Let's go check out the, let's go back up to 17. It's probably going to be high there as well. Still very usable SWR here with the ATU for sure. Might as well take her down to 12 and 10. Let's check 12. Yeah, 12 sky high. I figured it would be, but uh, we probably still with the, with the G90, we could absolutely... It's a 10 meter band and 10 meter band not bad what's that coming out to there a little glare 1.4 to 1 all right perfect i'm really pleased with that let's get on the air and make some contacts Doing great, doing great, Corey. Uh, sorry I stepped on that last uh, operator there with all that 20 watts of power there, haha. -ha. Actually stronger than he was. You're, uh, you're Nelly 5 and 9 to me, Nelly 5 and 9. Um, 
I'm actually down uh, right across the street from where I live here in the harbor, right down on the seawall. Uh, yeah, Corey, I made a vertical half wave, uh, infed half wave for 20 meters. So I've got the DX Commander uh, 10 meter pole straight up with uh, with the wire on it, uh, just speaker wire, 16 gauge speaker wire, uh, 49 to one un un, and I, I use uh, I choke it with a balance choke, and then I use a one meter long, which is uh, five percent of a wavelength, one meter long counterpoise wire, but it's up pretty high. I actually have it up on top of a fence here, so uh, it's up high, and I am literally a, a meter a meter from salt water, so I'm right beside the water there. Kilo 4 Oscar Golf, Oscar. Uh, QSL, you're 59 into Norfolk, Virginia, the harbor of Norfolk. Portable here with 20 watts. Thanks for taking the call. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar 5925. QSL, you're 59, number one. Uh, the exchange is your age. How old are you? <laughs> 60. 60, okay. QSL, I'm an old man. Thank you, good luck. 9, America, 2, United, Toyota Contest. So N7 DMO portable, we got QRZ from N7 DMO. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Hey, QSL, thanks for taking the call. I'm portable as well. Just 20 watts in the harbor of Norfolk, Virginia there. You have a lovely signal. You're 5'7 on the S meter, but wow, you sound like a 5'9. Just great audio. QSL is doing a great job there from Wyoming all the way here to Virginia. I'm right on the coast. Um, I'm running 20 watts with a Zygo G90. I have a vertical infed half wave. It's uh, cut for 20 meters, so it's about a 10 meter long piece of speaker wire with a 49 to 1 un un and about a meter long uh, counterpoise. And I am right next to the uh, salt water. I'm on the seawall here in uh, Portsmouth, Virginia, right across the river from uh, Norfolk, Virginia there. So operating a little portable out here in the secret weapon is the salt water there for sure there back to you yeah very good well it sure sounds good it sure sounds good you're doing an excellent job here in the wyoming here on 10 meters uh, uh you're doing an excellent job no problem at all copying um so uh it's, it sounds really good uh we're just 
Wow, fun morning of portable here in the harbor. I really enjoyed it. Um, I wore my Royal Australian Air Force t-shirt to bring me good luck. And it's planned because uh, about uh, between the hours of 7.30, 8 in the morning up until about 9, 9.30 in the morning here on the East Coast is when we really are getting through on 20 meters over to Australia. So uh, uh, making that contact with Corey was pretty cool. I really do appreciate it. Corey, if you're watching this, thank you so much, bud. We've had some great contacts and, uh, and he's a great operator i hope you can get him in the log if you're uh if you're uh, if trying to get down to vk land because it's amazing uh, just a great uh ham and a great operator down there thanks so much Corey. i appreciate that contact a lot of fun man if uh it's easy antenna to build just some uh, cheap speaker wire 16 gauge speaker wire if you've got a if you got a 10 meter pole or if you got a tree or something that you could uh stretch it up and over on and uh, and, and try it out as you can see uh uh, for 20 meters, the thing worked great. Man, when I was on 10 meters, uh, 10's really not open really well yet. I did have a, a, a good QSO over to Wyoming, but um, there for just a minute or two, I was getting a guy down in the Falkland Islands, but it, it, QSB was up and down, and I just couldn't get through. He had a monster pileup. Couldn't get through. Boy, that would have been a good one to get in the log, but uh, hey, I'll try again. I'll, I'll put this antenna up in the afternoon afternoons here for me are, are my 10 meter times right now mornings are, are definitely 20 and as the morning kind of uh wears on a little bit over to 15 meters is where i really make uh, most of my better contacts when i'm out here portable in the morning times anyway i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please like and subscribe until next time i'm walt k4 ogo 73 my friends